Welcome to another video. Here we have this challenge before us here. The question is x plus y equals to 2. Let's take this as our equation 1. Then we have x to the power of 2 plus y to the power of 2 equals to 4 all over 3. And let's take this as our equation 2. And though, and here we are now asked to find the value of x to the power of 2025. What year are we into? We are into the year 2025, right? The plus y to the power of 2025. Uh, I want to give kudos to the person that created this uh, math challenge here. Okay, so what is the value of this expression from these giving questions here? So we take our solution first here. Okay, so the number one thing we're going to do here is this. Look at this first equation here, and look at this equation here. I want to bring expression of this kind from this equation, and to do that, we have to square both sides of equation one. So let's go ahead and square both sides of equation one. So we're going to have here x plus our y all raised to the power of two, then equals to two to the power of two. Now the question is, why are we squaring both sides of equation one? Yeah, we're going to have four from here. And we can manipulate this second equation to have four on this other side for us to draw a kind of comparison or equate equation one to equation two. That is the reason why we are squaring both sides of the equation. And so if you use your algebraic identity to open up this, we're going to have x to the power of two plus our two x y plus our y squared equal to our four. Easy, right? So I can decide to bring this and this together. If I bring this and this together, that will be equal to 4 all over 3, right? Good. So if we have 4 all over 3 plus this expression I have here equal to this, I'm going to create something special from there. Okay, but this is what we're going to do here. Now we are having this out here. So let's give this equation star. Let's create another equation from our equation 2. So from equation 2, I want to multiply true by 3. To clear off this denominator and so this is going to give us 3s to the power of 2 plus 3y to the power of 2 equal to r4 because this is going to be 3 times 3 sorry 4 all over 3 times 3 so it will leave the system so let's give this equation star star so take a look at equation star star like i said earlier on at the beginning so we are having the whole of this equal to 4, we are having the whole of this equal to 4. So we can equate equation star and equation star star. So equating the two equations, so equating, equating equations uh, star and star star, then we're going to have here our x to the power of 2 plus 2xy plus y to the power of 2 equal to our 3x squared plus 3y squared. Easy. Right? Good. So we can collect our light terms here now. So collecting our light terms, what does it mean? It means here we are having s to the power of 2. Here we are having s to the power of 2. Here we are having s to the power of y to the power of 2. We are having y to the power of 2. And so we are left on this side. 2xy is equal to 3x squared minus x squared plus 3y squared minus y squared. Okay, so from here we're going to have our uh, 2xy equal to this is going to give us 2x squared then plus you will have 3, uh, sorry, 2. We're going to have 2y squared. So 2 is common to uh, both quantities here now. So we have to divide through by 2. So if we divide through by 2, we're going to have xy equals to x squared plus y squared. Easy. So at this point, what do we do? We just have to multiply both sides of the equation by x plus y. Then the question you may ask now is that why are we multiplying both sides of the equation by x plus y? It is this. Look at the figure we have in here. 
we are having 2025. And if we are to break down 2025, let's check it out here. We have here 2025, right? Good. So let's use 2 to divide. 2 cannot go, but 3 can go. So 3 into this, we're going to have here um, paraphrase 6, right? So we have 6 remainder uh, 2. So bring 2 here to give us 22. So 3 to 22 will give us 7. Remainder 1, 15 years. So 3 to 15 will give us 5. What can go again is our 3. So if we go with 3, this is going to give us one, uh, 2. Right? So this is going to give us 2, 2, uh, 5. 3 again will give us our 7, then 5. 3 again will give us our uh, 2, 5. Then what can go next is 5. Five here will give us five, then five here will give us one, right? Good. So you now discover that from this expression, three times six, seven, five will give us 20, 25, right? So if this is true, what we do, we have to look for a expression that has three, okay? That is x to the power of three. First, then we can multiply it by this to give us what we have here. And so from this expression, we have to get expression that will give us s to the power of 3, y to the power of 3. Then we can raise it to um, 6, 7, 5 to give us what we need here. Okay, so from here now, that's why we want to multiply by, so let's see here, multiply, multiply by x plus our y. Okay? All right, so with this, we're going to have our x, y into our x plus y equal to x squared plus y squared into x plus y. Easy. Okay, so if we open up this, it's going to give us x squared y plus this, this will give us x, y squared equal to if we use this to multiply this, it's going to give us x to the power of 3 there plus x squared y plus x y squared there plus y to the power of 3. Look at the two things we are looking for here. Okay? So from here, what we do, do not discover that we're having x square y and x square y. This is positive, this is positive. So if we move this to this side, this will leave the system, this will leave the system. We're having x, y squared, we're having x, y squared. So if we move this to this side, this will also leave the system, this will also leave the system. So on the left-hand side of the equation, we are having our zero equal to our x to the power of three plus y to the power of three. You see what we have here? That's why I said I gave the person that uh, brought out this uh, uh, math challenge, the person that designed it. I gave the person a kudo. Okay, this is nice one. All right, so rearranging our system, we're going to have our x to the power of 3 plus our y to the power of 3 equal to 0. Easy. So from here, we can move this to this side of the equation to give us s to the power of 3 is equal to minus y to the power of 3. Now remember from our simplification that 3 times 6, 7, 5 will give us 20, 25. So we can raise both powers of this expression to our 6, 7, 5. And so this is going to give us x to the power of 3 or raised to the power of 6, 7, 5. This is equal to minus our y or raised to the power of, uh, sorry, 3 here first, okay? We we'll have here 3 or raised to the power of 6, 7, 5. Good. Now, our minus 1 to the power of 6, 7, 5 will still give us minus 1. Because that is an odd number, right? Odd power. Okay, so if we have this to be this, mind you, if we decide to open up what we have here, this is going to give us our x raised to the power of 20, 25. This is equal to minus y raised to the power of 20, 25. Okay. So, with what we have here now, let's just finalize it uh, here. 
Okay, so with what we have here now, if we decide to add y to the power of 2025, what will happen to the system? So this is going to give us our x to the power of 2025 plus our y to the power of 2025 will now be equal to, on this other side, we're going to have our minus y to the power of 2025. You don't have to conserve this space. Then plus uh, y to the power of 2025. Please just bear with me. So minus y to the power of 2025 plus y to the power of 2025. This, this will leave the system. So we now have here, therefore, our s to the power of 2025 plus y to the power of 2025 uh, now be equal to what? Zero. So x to the power of 2025 plus y to the power of 2025 equal to zero from this even expression here. So this brings us to the end of today's smart class. If you learned something from this video, do not forget to give the video a thumbs up. We are out to roll out more challenges, well simplified step by step guide to solving math or lipid, some university entrance exams and all that, all that. Thank you for being there. See you in our next class. But feed then, keep winning. Bye for now.